right, let's look at trend lines today. We're going to be looking at scatter plots and finding the placement of the line that follows the pattern in the data. First off, let's discuss what is a trend line. A trend line is something that follows the pattern or the data in the scatter plot itself. It can touch some of the dots. And the main thing that we want is that when you draw the line through the data, that you want to have the same number of points or equal number of points on either side of the line that you make. So we're going to look at some examples of good and bad, um, but we want to have the same number of points on either side of the line. When you draw a line or if you're having to choose between some already made, we want it's spaced out evenly so the same are on the top and bottom or left and right of the line. Eventually we can also write an equation for this line but today we're just going to look at placement. Um, one thing that we also need to take into consideration is sometimes there's an outlier in a set of data and this example on the right shows an outlier right here. It's scooted out far away from the rest. It's not following um, the pattern that you see in the rest of the graph. So we would just ignore this when we get ready to draw our line. Ignore this point when placing your line. When placing your line in the scatter plot. So you wouldn't necessarily have to count this one to be equal points on both sides because it doesn't really follow the pattern. It's sticking out and it's not consistent with the rest of the data. Okay, so here's a couple examples. Um, we have a positive trend line, so it starts low, but as X increases, so does Y. It starts low and it continues. Both X and Y are increasing through the rest of the graph. This graph is showing you a negative trend. So as X increases, the Y value started very high, but as X continues to increase across the graph, you notice that the Y dots become lower and lower and lower. So we have a negative trend following this, which is perfect for real life. The age of your car and the value of your car, the longer you have your car, it's worth less and less money because you're using it. Okay, then this bottom graph has no trend at all. We can't see an upward or downward trend in the pattern of the dots in the graph. So um, you could draw a straight line across it and just say there's no trend um, at all. There's no correlation between X and Y. Um, this says the month of the year, January through December, and the number of weddings that are in each month. Um, some people might tend to say there's more weddings in the summertime. But this particular graph of data, there's no trend. So here's some examples. We can have a linear and a nonlinear uh, trend line. If you're in my class right now, these four examples are not in your journal, um, but I wanted to give you them as examples. So the two graphs on the left are both linear because the path follows a straight line, both upward or downward. But sometimes you have to draw a trend line that's going to curve. So this one is starts low and then it increases really rapidly. So it's going to get a bend or a curve in it. Um, it's still a trend line. I still have to make my line to where equal number of dots are on either side of the line. However, when I follow the path of the data, it starts to bend. It does not form a straight line. Then the same is true for this graph on the bottom. I can't draw one straight path keeping equal amounts of, of points on both sides of the line. So in order for me to do that, I have to make this line bend and curve. This one also started very low um, and then it increased rapidly and then it started to level off and not increase as quickly um, again. But both of these are still trend lines, they're just nonlinear. Now we are going to choose what is the best placement for the trend line in the data shown below. So remember, wherever you draw your line, it needs to follow the path of the data. So my path of my data, when I start at the beginning of the graph, I have dots really high, but as I increase across my x-axis, the dots 
get lower and lower and lower. So I definitely see a negative trend. So this one would for sure be um, not because that's showing positive and the graph is supposed to be negative. Um, this one also would not be right because the way they've drawn this line is that there's no trend at all, there's no correlation. But we can distinctively see that the dots become lower and lower. So now my choice is between A and B. A has the line touching two points. However, there's no, it's not equally spaced. Um, there's no dots down here. Um, whoops. This one is not equally spaced. Uh, this would definitely be my best choice. Um, it has an even amount of uh, dots on both sides. So I'm having evenly spaced and it follows the trend. It needs to be negative. This one doesn't follow the trend. Doesn't follow the trend. This one also doesn't follow the trend. Okay, so one more. Um, same, we want to judge the placement of the line amongst the data points. So this first one with A, um, this is a positive trend. I can tell my dots when X is low, so is Y. But as I continue across the graph, the Y values continue to get higher and higher. So this looks pretty good. It's touching two of the points. And I have one, two, three dots on this side. And one, two, three more dots on this side. So that looks um, really good placement wise. When I look at this next one, it's following the path. Okay, it is an upward trend, so it's positive and it's touching two of the points, but all of the dots are on the top um, and there's no dots below. So this would give me, um, it wouldn't follow my path. This one is placed too low. On the data and um, sees just the opposite it's still touching two points which is good but then there are no dots above all the dots are below so this one is placed too high whoops, 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 whoops. And then the last one, this increase is really quick and too fast. I only have one dot on the left and then I have four dots on the right. So this one is too steep. So your best answer is A.